Hi everyone, this is Peter here. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Today I wanted to show you a really cool feature that was released just recently by Lumina Neo. It is called GenSwap, a generative AI technology that will allow you to alter image composition by replacing objects or seamlessly adding new elements, details to your photos based on the prompt that you provide the program with. So we're gonna have a look at this feature in a sec, but before that I'd like to just briefly mention that there is a Cyber Week special running from the 27th of November until the 4th of December and by using my coupon code Peter Birak Photo, you'll be able to save up to 95% on top of the 85% discount so an extra 10%. You'll find all the relevant information and the special link in the description box below. Anyway, let's have some fun with GenSwap now. All right, here we are in Lumina Neo and I've got a few sample shots and also some of my own images loaded into the catalog. Let's select a portrait first and uh, test this GenSwap feature out. Here on the right side you will find the GenSwap just right next to or below the GenErase tool under the Generative Tools tab. Let's click on GenSwap now. Here you can see the interface right at the bottom. Let's change the selection to a larger amount with this slider to around 44. And what we're gonna do now is select her head or face making sure that I'm selecting a little bit larger, covering all the stray hairs, going down to her neck uh, and make a proper selection, just about that. And um, here the prompt needs to contain mainly nouns, so try to stay away from verbs. It's gonna give you a couple of uh, pointers anyway. Let's do um, clown head, scary, and then you can just hit swap, and then it's gonna start doing its magic. So you can see it's gonna give you a couple of tips if you got inappropriate content error message and you're confident there's no violation about terms and conditions, try to change the mask or the prompt itself. And then the next tip, feel free to mask a slightly larger area than you need. If you miss a part of an object, the results of GenSwap might not be what you're looking for. That is why I selected a little bit larger area, just to make sure that uh, we are covering uh, her head completely. And the hairs, try to write an extended prompt by describing what you want to get in detail. Wow, that looks scary. <laughs> it's already done, so it only took about 30 seconds. Let's zoom in a little bit to 100%. And let's see what it has done. I mean, it looks pretty amazing. A couple of stray hairs are still there, but we could get rid of that very easily. With this, you can go back and then keep switching back and forth. So this is before, this is after. All right, let's do something different. Just cancel and um, hit gen swap again. Now, maybe we should change her Clothing. Um, let's just change this shirt to something else. So, just making sure that I'm selecting everything. Let's change this to a blue jacket. All right, so. That is the blue jacket. There are some artifacts here at the bottom. As you can see where I have selected these sections, but it managed to rebuild the uh, jeans quite well. All right, let's try another one. Maybe we have to be a little bit more precise, especially in this area. Okay, let's try another prompt. Gray jacket. That looks pretty cool. Obviously not perfect, but if you go here, back there, you can see that AI had to redraw part of her body. For example, here, the abdomen and also the chest and um, even the arms, right? Was it covering more? Yeah, part of the arms, yeah. 
so I think it has done a pretty good job in this instance the shadows look uh, fairly um, accurate and authentic let's go and uh, try something else this time maybe we can um, just uh, add sunglasses or normal spectacles all right so this one doesn't look too bad i think this is probably the best uh, result this is before and different variations that we have created probably this last one is the best by far the previous one uh, um, especially the right eye looks a bit abnormally large this one looks unnatural as well so i think this third one is the best and then you could just uh, save this and then uh, under the generative creations you will get the uh, final result let's try sunglasses with this portrait let's do this maybe i'm going to just cover this as well just in case black sunglasses just hit swap and wait for the execution all right so that doesn't look too bad interesting it has done a pretty good job that looks pretty cool we could actually save this one i kind of like that let's go to another type of image maybe to an image like this all right let's add elements to this part of the image i'd like to see some birds flock of birds flock of birds that looks pretty good not too bad let's swap it again that looks pretty realistic we could save that as well so we've got a few saved in the catalog i'm pretty impressed with this image or how this one turned out this looks fairly realistic um let's go back to all the photos and uh, maybe play around with this macro shot of a jumping spider let's go to gen swap let it load first all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna select this area and then just go up to about that much maybe even more about this much and then the prompt is gonna be center hat all right so here we go this looks a little bit interesting i don't know why it has double or whatever that is let's swap it out let's see if this second attempt looks a bit better that looks a bit better but doesn't look that realistic so let's try the third one now this is my favorite by far let's just zoom in a little bit to 50 percent so you can see that it has done a fairly good job um, of matching you know those tiny little hairs and uh, created some depth three-dimensional depth and also here especially in this uh, part of the image you can see that uh, it also decreased the depth of field so it matches the bokeh of the actual image because only the front part of the spider was in focus so this is by far the best so we're gonna save this one that looks pretty cool and let's go back and try another image alrighty so I'm gonna add the baseball cap here so let's try that black baseball cap maybe now oh, that looks pretty good so this is before and this is after I'm pretty happy with that I could save that as well and um, just go back to all the photos catalog let's hit gen swap again and then do something else with this image let's insert another object maybe we can add the 
giraffe. So I want to see a giraffe here, a smiling giraffe. What the hell? <laughs> that looks hilarious, actually. I really like the way it actually changes the background, slightly changes the background without compromising the integrity of the image. So this is before and this is after. I love that. So we're going to save this. All right, let's try something else with a different type of image. Uh, gen swap again. Let's remove this person and uh, and put a dolphin in there. Wow, that actually looks pretty good. So this is uh, before and this is after. And this time I'm going to just uh, change a larger portion of the image. Maybe remove these and like that factory buildings replace those that actually turned out to be pretty good didn't expect it to take the atmospheric conditions into account so this is before and this is after not bad let's do our last I will just replace this area and put a hot dog stand here. What the hell? That looks weird. The guy's face is massive. No, that looks much better. Let's go uh, to fit the screen. So this is before and this is after. This one looks fairly realistic and blends into the image pretty well. So we could save that too. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up now. I think uh, this program has tremendous potential. You can see that it still has a few issues, but with future updates, uh, I'm sure that they're gonna iron out these um, initial tiny little bugs. Overall, I think uh, it's a very useful uh, feature and um, you can get super creative with it, as you can see. For example, with this uh, shot of the giraffe and me, I highly suggest you go and check it out and uh, get your creative juices flowing and experiment with it and have a little bit of fun. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Also, if you'd like to learn more about Lumina Neo, I've got a special playlist for you. So feel free to check that out as well. Thanks again and catch you all very soon in the next one.